Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope everyone's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Now, just remember this guys, I am not a financial advisor. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Because, like I said yesterday, we saw a little bit of a dip, but came right back out of it, trading sideways. Um, we'll see what happens over this next week. I think this week could be very important, uh, possibly for the price of XRP. And as I mentioned uh, before, we are possibly going to see an upside as we approach spring and summer. Uh, we'll see, but I think, uh, I personally believe all the bad, for the most part, the bad days are behind us, the real bad days. Again, we could see another dip, but these are, I think, just um, periodic and uh, to be, you know, they're to be expected. Consolidation and all of that jazz. So, good enough. All right, so let's just look at the whole market here, guys. So, Bitcoin is right on the doorstep of 10,000. I think if we get above that, if Bitcoin gets above that now, of course, uh, like I've said before, I don't believe XRP is just closely following Bitcoin like that anymore, but it still does follow it. Uh, I think what we need to bring a bit more of that um, uh, that retail into the market, cause a little bit of FOMO, is for Bitcoin to get above 10,000. And then ultimately, uh, I think once it hits about 12, 13,000, we're really going to see an influx, but you know we'll have to see. There's so much going on uh, with uh, with this virus and all of this stuff, guys. Remember this. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here. Um. So, look. All I can tell you is don't panic. Use your common sense. Yes, this coronavirus could be very or could potentially be very serious but it's no difference different rather than any other virus out there okay it can be stopped you're not just an open door to it if you practice common sense health then I I'm more than sure you're gonna be fine and I'm gonna go into some of the things that I do to protect myself um, and you know it, it like I said it's just common sense stuff things that we've learned all of our lives uh, I just cannot believe that any one disease is gonna just wipe out all of humanity now there could be a zombie virus in the middle of this now so also you might want to be uh, preparing yourself yourselves for a zombie attack okay just letting you know be careful uh, get armed and be ready just never know all right so what I was bringing up here though is just the fact that uh, the flu is very dangerous. It's a very dangerous uh, virus to get. Now, as you can see here, it says the CDC estimates that influenza has resulted in between 9 million and 45 million illnesses between, uh, between 140,000 and 810,000 hospitalizations and between 12,000 to 61,000 deaths annually since 2010. So guys, just remember, don't panic. Practice that common sense stuff. You know, wash your hands. Uh, if you need to carry around one of those little bottles with the, you know, alcohol gel in it, uh, all of that, I mean, and be careful about shaking hands. Don't touch your face. You know, common sense stuff. So no need to plant panic. Like I said, the flu's been around for many, many years, and it's just as deadly as anything else that has, you know, been released, I guess you could say. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Fiat Leak. Uh, all right. So every time I come here, it takes a minute for it to ramp up, but we're getting, I mean, there's quite a lot going on. The, the, the transactions are happening. We're having, now, yes, guys, I know that this is not the most accurate way to determine what's happening with XRP, all right? However, it's interesting nonetheless. So, as we can see here, it, it is a little bit quiet over the weekend here. Hey, nothing wrong with that. It, it happens. Uh, who's really doing a whole, a whole lot of trading? Uh, also, these corridors are being ramped up. 
but we're going to see more and more happen. Uh, we just have to be uh, patient. With everything that's going on, I think what I personally think what will end up happening is we'll, we'll get a, a pretty big spike in usage uh, as different companies, as different um, entities start to realize XRP, Ripple, it's just the best way to go. All right, so first article I want to go over, XRP could be weeks away from a major breakout despite overnight rejection, which was last night, obviously. And um, yeah, I mean, he's going over the, uh, the, the TA, but guys, we know XRP is very near. Now, how far or how high it's going to go, we can't really say. Uh, I've seen a lot of predictions. I'm sure you guys have too. I've seen dollar, you know, multiple dollar figures. It really doesn't matter what it could go to. What really matters is that we are on the positive side of this. Okay. That's the most important part of this. And I cannot stress that enough. We are on the positive side. We've already gone through the probably the worst bear market in the history of crypto. But now we are on the upside. It is just a matter of of retail and these FIs really coming on board and getting involved and it's happening soon. It's going to have to. The economy can't take much more of what's happening. Uh, a lot of people are, they're going to abandon the stock market uh, and a lot of that money is going to come straight over to crypto. Why? Because it's everything that's happening in the stock market is all fake. It's all pumped up values. And it's it's nowhere near real. Most most of your retail investors are not even involved in the in the uh, I'm sorry in the stock market because they just don't have the money. So many people are trying to protect what little wealth they have. And as soon as the word gets out that things are going to crypto, right? It, and we already know that's happening. It's in the process of happening. The CBDCs, uh, different countries creating their own cryptos. They are changing right under the noses of us right and we are the ones who are the first ones to get in this yet there are so many of our brothers and sisters out there who don't have a clue about what's going on and it's pretty sad but it is to our advantage so again guys be patient it's going to happen we just have to out we have to outlast the evil that that uh some men are doing and that's just the truth okay so anyway, thought I'd come with that. Got another one for you. Analyst expects 20% XRP explosion as price trend turns bullish. Now, I think 20% is very, very, very modest. But either way, again, it is on the positive side. A lot of people are seeing it. You're, you're still seeing the FUD. You're still seeing uh, people out there that are in some pretty big names that are really kind of bashing XRP. It doesn't matter. They know they are already invested. It's their job. They've, they've been um, uh, tasked with putting that FUD out there. It just is, it's a part of it, guys. It's a part of it. I've gone over the article where in, I think it was from 1936, and how they manipulate these markets. And it's happening right now. If you don't think any market is ma manipulated, uh, or rather every market is manipulated, then you might need to go and do a little bit more research. This is how the rich stay rich, right? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's, uh, you know, physically or, you know, going in and, and causing uh, price drops uh, using money or anything like that. But all it is sometimes is just news. It's just things that are being said, just like we see. Some of the things that, you, that, that people are saying get a little bit more play than, uh, than the positive things, right? So... A lot more people see the negative, which causes them to, to what? They get afraid and they want to stay away. But remember, the sheep are exactly that. They have no idea how to control their own emotions. They don't have any idea on what, you know, as far as what's happening with crypto. They will be guided by those who are in the know, those who have, um, I'll say, mal malicious intent uh, as far as the markets go. So... Uh, just remember, guys, again, we are at an advantage right now. We need to stay there and keep that. It, I mean, either you can be on the downside or upside. I'd rather be on the upside. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move into uh, some kind of health topics here, guys. If you want to 
go ahead and you know sign off at this point you might want to I'm just going to show you some things that I've looked into that I look to look into every day uh, to make sure that my health is good because again you guys know I just I just recently turned 49 uh, and <laughs> I don't know if you know this my wife is considerably younger than me so I have to make sure I keep up with her <laughs> so and we haven't even had any had any kids yet so guys you know I, I got my work cut out for me but anyway moving on here uh, five health benefits uh, I'm sorry health benefiting reasons you could use a spoonful of baking soda now I've talked about this before but I cannot I can't stress I can't emphasize enough on how important this is right how helpful it is now just some immediate things that I notice whenever I just do a teaspoon of baking soda in like eight ounces of water and that's really all you need uh, if you're going to do it what I would suggest is go to like Sprouts or Whole Foods or somewhere a health a health grocery store and get their um, their their baking soda that is like uh, the probably the best right that doesn't have uh, aluminum or anything like that bake uh, Arm and Hammer is okay but I generally uh, don't go with that because they they are not so concerned about making sure the aluminum is not in there so I go with uh, you know I just always look at the box and make sure that it says zero aluminum or, or whatever uh, but all in all it, you know I do this uh, periodically not every day uh, whenever I feel I need it, if I'm having digestive issues, if I'm having uh, a little bit of acid reflux or, or anything like that, or if I just want a good night's sleep, I will do that. I'll take a, uh, a, a teaspoon of baking soda, put it in a glass of water, drink it down, right? You can drink it as fast as you want. And uh, when I go to bed that night, oh my God, I'm, I'm out. And I'm out all night. And it's a restful sleep, a very, very restful sleep. Um, lots of benefits also it really helps when, when I take this before working out or you know so like if I go if I'm going to the gym and I, I take this right before going to the gym it I, I definitely notice a difference I can run a little bit longer I don't get as tired uh, my endurance is a little bit better uh, all around it it just helps now these are the results that I see I'm not gonna say that you will see that um, our bodies are different I, but like I said it helps me now as it says here there are five different things that they outline uh, that that it can help with to improve your digestive system well yeah obviously uh, it, if you're having acid uh, buildup or anything like that it can definitely help that to promote cardiovascular health now that's something uh, when I read this I did not realize myself uh, but obviously I'll just go ahead and read this. A compromised car cardiovascular system can lead to things such as dis decreased energy and negatively impacted mental functions, digestion and immunity. Uh, Brandon notes, adding that circulatory issues can lead to the possibility of serious health conditions such as heart disease, chronic res respir respiratory disease, and the development of various blood issues. A teaspoon of baking soda in an 8-ounce glass of water daily is said to detoxify the blood and improve its flow by helping to break down blockages now like I said guys uh, something you can think about it you know it won't kill you you know uh, I mean as far as I know I've <laughs> I've had quite a lot of it myself I was even doing at one point two teaspoons in a glass of water um, that's kind of hard to get down but uh, you know, I had no problems. I, I'm I'm still here. I'll put it like that. And I I did it didn't make me feel bad. Uh, in fact, it made me feel even better. But like I said, it might be worth a try if you're dealing. I noticed this too. If you're dealing with, uh, say, if you're having uh, uh, um, issues with alcohol, like if you're drinking alcohol uh, the night before, it can um, it, it can kill that uh, or uh, that hangover. Uh, I have definitely. Uh, avoided some major hangovers by doing this very thing so something to consider uh, and also it will now this is another thing I noticed it will uh, at the very least reduce your cravings for sugar right because it is it is bacteria in your stomach that cries out for this bacteria that's the reason why you have a craving for it right but the baking soda when you take that it uh, when you when you drink that 
it actually reduces that uh, that um, bake, I'm sorry that bacteria and it causes you to pass it out of your body which will absolutely I'm telling you right now every time I do it it completely kills my craving for sugar sometimes it can get really bad and if I notice it's getting pretty bad I'll do this and it just absolutely kills it again I can't say it's absolutely gonna happen for you that's what happens with me all right so uh, moving on here to reduce bloating uh, to keep your kidneys healthy right uh, to combat acid reflux my mother uh, she's dealt with some uh, gout one of the things they told her was to drink baking soda in water to uh, help relieve the issues so it, the doctors know about it you know again it's not gonna it, it I mean it's not gonna hurt you so something to consider all right uh, one last thing uh, something I am actually about to leave here and go purchase is collagen supplements which uh, basically is collagen um, uh, protein now this is uh, these are, as it says here, six benefits. I'm just going to go over here, over this because I don't want to make this, <laughs> this video like too long. But number one, can improve skin health. Okay, uh, collagen is in the skin, something you definitely need. You get it from eating meat, uh, specifically fats, and uh, any of the uh, like. Uh, sometimes you get a little col uh, cartilage in the in the meat. Uh, hey. I eat it. I mean, I, you know, I, I just do. And I'm telling you right now, uh, I've had issues with my elbows, like tennis elbow, for probably, oh man, uh, almost 20 years now, since I was 31. And guys, uh, I have been doing, I've been eating a lot more meat and eating the fat with it. And I can tell you right now, uh, at the very least, the issues that I've been having has, it has severely subsided. Uh, I used to have some serious problems when I was, you know, just doing like curls, uh, you know, tricep extensions, all that. Uh, it would just, man, it was just so painful. But now, I mean, sometimes I don't even, I don't even think about it. It's so, so, so little now. But uh, moving on helps relieve joint pain. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, could pre could prevent bone loss. Something that uh, as we get older, as we age, especially with women, uh, you start to realize that. Uh, you, you're you losing bone and, and this is because uh, of osteoporosis but um, if you're not taking in the things your body basically just loses it is more it loses it more readily but uh, if you're not taking in the, the 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 necessary components then your body's just gonna lose it which like I said most of it is due to uh, just aging and not consuming enough of the right foods uh, number four could boost muscle mass, which is something that I uh, definitely want to take advantage of myself. Uh, promotes heart health. Can you can never uh, have a healthy enough heart? Uh, I mean, as we know, heart attacks or cardiovascular uh, issues can. Uh, that's like one of the leading causes of death. And other health benefits such as hair and nails, gut health, brain health, weight loss. So uh, again, guys, I'm about to go and buy this stuff. And I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it's affected me. Um, and, and hey, maybe something you might want to try out. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate uh, you guys. Uh, again, I am trying to get to that 10,000 subscriber mark. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, the like button and the post notification button. With all that being said, until next time. This has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.